hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with attack on titan the final season part two episode number three reaction all right the previous episode um uh at uh, Eren and uh galliard and uh like you know like they were rhino were fighting uh zeke comes in zeke helps us out in the beginning you know like it seemed like we are going to win and uh, you know Eren was actually going towards zeke but pete comes in and with Magat, uh, you know, with uh, General Magat, and <coughs> shoot Zeke and Aaron. Uh, no, not Aaron. Sorry, shoots Zeke, and Zeke is down, and he's going to scream, which means that all the people who are in range are probably going to, to transform into Titans. Falco is one of them, and there was that whole thing with Falco as well. Falco like confesses to Gabi in, in the middle of this, like you know whole situation and uh, yeah like all that stuff's like happening and uh, you know we don't know what's going to happen now um peak uh peak basically peak kind of like you know uh completely turned the whole situation like we were kind of like you know like zeke and Aaron, they were kind of winning and suddenly because of peak like you know everything's like going down now so we don't know what's going to happen like you know if like you know all the people are going to transform or not what's going to happen whether Zeke is going to shout or not, we don't know. So let's see. This episode will probably like give us all our answers. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number three, reaction of Attack on Titan, the final season, part two. So I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. <clears throat> Alright, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's see. All right. <clears throat> hmm. All right, two brothers. All right, more of Zeke and Aaron, I guess. Oh boy. Okay. Ooh, damn, that was like a huge wound. Oh, oh no, Galliard. Ah! Damn! Okay! Oh! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! They're still shooting. Oh, God. Oh my god. Oh! Yeah. Oh damn! <coughs> my god, so many things are happening at the same time. Yeah.
Hmm. Sneak behind them. Okay. All right, here we go. Damn. Oh boy, Yelena is not happy at all. Oh my god, that wound. Ugh. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, my God. Yep, okay. Here we go, he's going to shout. Wait. Yeah. Wait, why did Aaron, why was Aaron going to say it? I don't think that's how it works. Oh my god. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, quick, quickly, just get out of here. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah, this is war. He cannot do that. Oh my god, he's going to scream. Yep, he is going to. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh god, quickly, Colt, run! Oh my god. Oh no, he's going to transform. Oh god. Oh no, he is go yeah, there you go, Niles as well. Well, everyone, all the military and... Uh. Wait! Is that big... Was that Pixis? Oh no, oh great, here we go. Ah! Great! Oh my god! That looks like Erwin a little bit! Okay, uh, wait, is that Falco? That's Falco! Oh my, what happened to Colt? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, obviously the heat of...
Oh no. Okay, oh my god, Aaron is up. Oh god, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my Ah oh. I don't think so. I don't think so. Damn. Oh, okay, okay. Is that Armin? Yeah, there you go. Oh, but, yeah, but still. Oh. Oh no, Zeke! Wait, he's, he's really dead? Or maybe he just went out? Maybe he just ejected? Oh my god! Oh, yeah, if, if he lets him, oh, what, what happened? Wait, who's this? Oh my God, Porco. Is he going to sacrifice himself? Oh my god, yeah, I think so. Ah, yeah. So he's going to inherit uh, Porco's Titan. Oh, wait! Damn! Oh! Yeah, that's another way, I guess. I, yeah, I think Zeke, Zeke has exit. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh my god. Yo! Okay! Survey Corps? Wait, who's that? Oh my god, Gabi! Oh lord. Oh no, oh! Wait, what? What? Oh my god, now, now's the flash, now's not a time for flashback! Oh no. Okay, let's see what Aaron says here. Walls royal family. <coughs> hmm.
It was wrong. Hmm. Oh boy. That's what he said to Zeke, but Armin thinks that that's not what he thinks. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? He didn't... <laughs> oh. is, is that a sign that he really doesn't... Oh my god. Yeah, Armin was right, I think, now. That's like one of the biggest hints. He didn't catch the ball. Damn. oh like what will happen now like he's not in titan form he his head got shot it's clean off yeah like what now oh he grabbed it he grabbed the head he came into contact Oh my Wow What the what is this Oh, this is that place where uh, Yamir coordinate where all paths converge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, who is that? Oh, that's Ymir, the founder, Ymir. Okay. She's the one who saved uh, Zeke. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. This is where she makes titans. Commander the Oh, is that? Okay, this is what he was saying. This is what they're going to do. The euthanization plan. Yeah, like what's with the chains? Oh, my God. Yeah.
Yo, okay, what is what is he thinking? Okay. Yep, there you go. Mr. Armin was right. Okay, so what is he going to ask of Ymir then? What was his what is his actual plan? Okay. Wait, no! Oh my god. What? Oh no. Come on, what? Then he's not being... What about the... Okay, that's why. Great, wow, what now? Great. Wow. What now? Wait. Oh, okay. Savar. Oh my god, great. Okay, well, now what? Wow. <sighs> well, so obviously we know now that Eren actually was planning something else. <clears throat> ah That's the end. Okay, well, so yeah, all 
the speculations, everything is out now. Like, you know, everyone knows what's actually happening and what Aaron was planning. And Amir was correct. So he was planning on actually. <laughs> like, <laughs> they, they did actually, love it. like, you know, they did not show us that whole scene with the ball. You know, like, that. that's like one of the biggest hints. Like, as soon as they showed us, I was like, yeah, obviously. Like, he did not grab the ball. That means he has some other plans. And they... <laughs> And they obviously did not show us that. And like, you know, this scene, that scene, you know, like when Aaron and um, uh, Zeke was talking, that was already shown in the previous season. But they did not show us that scene where the, he, he throws the ball and he does not grab it. Like, because that's obviously like the biggest hint. <laughs> okay, and I think, you know what? I think Aaron should have grabbed the ball. Because he actually not grabbing the ball probably made... <laughs> I'm sorry, like, probably made Zeke more suspicious. And that's why he did not completely trust Aaron. And he just was like, you know, like, made like a, a, a little, um, <clears throat> you know, the, the chains, he made it with the Emir. And he was just waiting for, uh, like, you know, to listen to what actually Aaron's plan is. If actually Aaron wanted the euthanization plan, he would have let Aaron do it. And since not, it was not his actual plan, he, he, you know, destroyed the chains and just stood up and he's now going to do the job. So, <laughs> like, I think, I think the, him not grabbing the ball actually kind of, kind of, like, you know, worked in a bad way <laughs> since Zeke got uh, suspicious. And, like, obviously, that's not the full reason. I know that. Like, you know, I'm just saying. Um, like, uh, I'm sure, like, you know, Zeke, as, as he worked together with Eren, he probably realized that Eren had something, some other plan. You know, he was not fully on board with the euthanization plan. Like, as he worked together with him, I'm sure he realized that. Uh, but <laughs> the thing started with him not grabbing the ball. So, yeah, anyways. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so this episode, um, quite a few things happen. Number one. Um, uh, okay, like, what is it? Alright, the, f the first part, um, Eren tries to get, like, you know, quickly to Zeke. Unfortunately, Reiner is there, like, everyone's, like, you know, like, clinging to him and not letting him go. Uh, Galliard, f first of all, comes and Eren just beats Galliard up, you know, that moment. And, um, and at the same time, a lot of other things are also happening, you know, like, the, the, the normal people and the, the, the foot soldiers, they're shooting and like you know like just like it's like complete mess the, the marlians are fighting um uh, over there peak is also like you know with magat peak is also like you know doing her own thing and trying to like you know bring down zeke and it's, it's just like you know like so many things are happening all at the same time and here's where actually like you know reiner touches um porco and porco realizes not realizes but you know like the, the the memories flow into him as to uh what happened with the like you know his brother and all that stuff like how he wanted to protect him this and that you know all, all that 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 part he gets to know that and <clears throat> now here's where like you know everything goes wrong colt comes in front of zeke and asks him to just wait for a little bit so that Gab, uh, like, you know, so that poor, uh, no, sorry, uh, Falco, Falco can get away from here, and then he can scream, kill people, whatever he wants to do. But um, this is war, you know. Like this is not how it works. Obviously, Zeke, Zeke knows that. Zeke, Zeke knows he cannot do that because if he does that, if he actually says that, you know what? All right, I'll wait. You know, just get out of here. If he's just said that, he and everyone else would have just, you know, killed him within that like they would have taken advantage of the situation because there is no um place for sentiment or emotion in a situation like this uh colt is like you know uh, falco's brother that's why he was so desperate he, st he still wanted to uh you know like what can i say like cling into the desperate um uh, like you know, the, cling into like you know the the uh, like the possibility that yeah zeke will listen to him but that's that's just his you know like emotion as a brother speaking no one else will listen to it because this is war if zeke listens to it that's it you know porco uh, like you know uh, fal, uh, uh, peak peak would have just shot him within that time and eren would have probably died this and that would have happened and so yeah no place for emotions 
so like that's why like you know zeke says like since i understand that you like you know your emotions as a brother is speaking i am also a brother here that's why i also want to help aaron out so unfortunately i can't listen to you and like you know he screams he shouts and that's it the end now one thing i wasn't able to pick up uh this part was that actually pixis just a sec i like i knew like all the like you know garrison knights uh, not knights sorry the garrison corps like you know like and the uh, like you know the military all of them yeah that's pixis isn't it the one who was just so pixis also consumed it i don't remember i i don't remember if they actually like, you know uh, revealed that in the previous season i think they probably did i probably forgot that pixis also consumed it it does make sense because you know pixis just loves his wine and you know like <laughs> his alcohol he just loves it so yeah like he definitely consumed it which the thing that can, uh, contains his spinal uh, zeke spinal fluid so that's how you, you're going to lose pixis like is that it i think that is pixis isn't it or is that some other random old dude no that is pixis that is pixis um so that, is that how we're going to lose him just like this Oh my god. Wow, like like I don't know. I, I, I don't know why, but I had like a feeling within me that somehow Falco is going to survive. So I was not that concerned about Falco. But seeing Pixis like you know go like this is kind of it's, it's really sad. Like you know, he's like he was like one of the good people, really good people. And Damn. So yeah. <clears throat> Like, like, you know, I was just saying, like, in the previous episode, like, the Falco was, like, you know, triggering so many death flags. Like, I knew something was going to happen in this episode. But I don't know why, but there was a part of me that kind of had the feeling that Falco will survive somehow. I don't know why, but there was a part of me. Because I think, like, Falco is, like, I don't know. Like, you know, this is, like, this is this weird feeling that Falco is, like, like, one of the, uh, what can I say, like, main characters or something. Like, this is, like, a thing. You know within me like that like just like how main characters have the protection of the plot armor i i always have that this feeling that falco has that plot armor with him i don't know why but there's this weird feeling with him and that's why i knew that something is going to happen but somehow he, he will be able to get out of that and that's what happened here you know like um everyone like you know transforms into titans falco also transforms and it, that's it that's over for them they they won't come back neither pixis nor niles no one is going to come back Every, everyone who can can like you know, consumed the spinal fluid they're gone and uh, but there was still a part of me that that somehow thought that yeah falco will be fine will be fine and that's how it went so what happens here is falco becomes like a titan he goes towards eren and you know like uh, attacks uh, reiner and eren is also like you know trying to make use of that situation to run away and okay and here's where it happens um reiner at, at the beginning reiner thought uh like you know like that uh, uh zeke he thought zeke died because uh, peak just shot him uh zeke used the same strategy as peak did but obviously reiner did not know that reiner thought that okay zeke is dead everything's okay like you know Aaron's plan will not come true so I can rest now like you know like he he, he he's tired of this whole thing and he doesn't like you know like want to just go on he, he thought that okay like fine like you know I, I was supposed to relinquish my like you know titan power because obviously within a few years I'm going to die anyways so yeah let, I, let me just rest and like you know Falco let Falco uh, inherit the titan and he was actually like you know giving up that's when um, Gariot comes in or Porco comes in and Porco is like yeah like you know like I, I saw my the memories this and that you know like uh, I saw how my brother used that excuse to protect me so yeah it's my turn and Falco goes and consumes Porco now now here's one thing we still don't know whether what happened to Colt. Colt is burnt. Now, he's either alive or dead. If he's alive, you know, he's probably going to have a lot of burns. And that's how he's going to live the rest of his life. Either that or he's dead. Like, we don't know what happened. 
and uh, like armin was still able, was able to like you know uh, was able to be alive even after like you know that that whole thing with in the previous season where he just went through so much and he was still like you know holding on to his life at that moment he he would be dead but i i think this time like you know falco turning into a titan is probably like you know uh you know like injured falco a lot less than armin like you know got injured in the previous season since Fa uh, armin was able to hold on to his life maybe falco is also able to hold on to his life if he gets proper medical attention now who knows maybe he'll be okay uh not falco sorry cold um so yeah i don't know about that but porco is gone porco is not coming back um falco consumes porco and so now falco is uh, like you know has, has inherited the um <clears throat> uh like you know the the, the uh, the jaw titan that's what porco galliard is isn't it the jaw titan jaw titan yeah i think so I, I forgot anyways um so yeah he he inherited that so he's going to be that titan now but uh so yeah falco will be fine uh porco is dead and eren uses that you know like that confusion to like, you know just free like, like, you know like make himself into that crystalline stuff and comes out and just runs towards uh, Zeke, uh, which was obviously one of the most clever thing to do there because he couldn't be able to get out of that situation normally. So yeah, and as we see, and I kind of knew that that I, I was sure that Zeke probably was just acting. You know, he just used for, uh, you know what was that um, uh, Peak's uh, strategy to act as if he's dead, but then you know like come out and eject himself out of that. So. <clears throat> Okay, here's where the most shocking thing happens. Uh, Eren, okay, just a sec. Um, let me uh, read the, the middle portion. Um, information available for public disclosure screen. There you go. Aliens who have ingested Zeke's, uh, Zeke Jaeger's spinal fluid transform into pure titans from his screen. Losing their own will, these titans obey, Zeke's regardless, uh, obey Zeke regardless of who they are or what their lives were before. Okay, there you go. Okay. And we kind of knew that. But yeah anyways uh, so yeah uh, Eren moves towards Zeke uh, uh, to you know touch him because he's the royal but Gabi is there now here like you know like I'm sure a lot of people will be mad at Gabi but I, I you know like well, like at this time like I don't think like like you know we should be mad at Gabi at this point of time because everyone's dying like what else do you expect from her you know like you expect her to just sit there and like you know suck her, her thumb like you know obviously he, he, she's going to do something like um at this point like you know like the whole thing with sasha annoyed me you know that was like one of the worst things that she could have done that was wrong but this time you know him her shooting uh, Aaron, this this is not wrong because you know like this is war this is in the middle of the war and you have to do something because if zeke uh, like you know Aaron goes to zeke everything's going to end so gabi shooting him was something that she needed to do at that situation. She lost everyone at that moment. You know, Colt is gone. Uh, Porco is gone. Um, um, uh, Reiner is dying. Uh, uh, Falco is okay, but still he was almost dying. And like, this is what's happening. So I don't think anyone can blame, uh, you know, Gabi at this point for shooting Eren, you know? And like, this is war. Like, this is not some, like, you know, like nothing you can do about it. So yeah, I, I have no problem with Gabi shooting Eren at this point. You <laughs> know, it's fine. <laughs> but her killing Sasha is obviously wrong. Like that's one thing I won't be able to forgive Gabi for. But at this point in time, uh, shooting Eren is okay, I guess. And you know what? I kind of like you know knew that obviously Eren wouldn't die this easily. So I knew like you know even if he sh she shot Eren, I I knew he he somehow would be able to come back in some way or the other. And it turns out he probably will be able to come back since uh, his like damn like that's like like the way he shot him you know his head cleanly went off it seemed as if like you know like someone slashed her head off it was just a bullet and like that means that sniper rifle was probably the bullet was probably very big and like you know it's like it's like probably one of those uh, I don't know like it was probably like an anti tank sniper rifle or something. <laughs> He just shot a human with it, probably. And, you know, that's why, like, you know, like, it just cleanly took his head off. Like, that's not how bullets work, you know? Like, if you shoot someone in their neck, 
the head is not going to be cleaved off this is not a sword so i guess that was that sniper rifle was probably some like you know heavy anti-tank sniper rifle or something it was like you know, the bullet was so big and it went through such a velocity that it just cleaved his head off like that's insane but anyways um <laughs> so yeah um zeke grabs the head before eren dies which triggers the whole thing now here we get the little flashback which obviously like this is the time they are supposed to reveal it because otherwise <laughs> You know, Eren not grabbing the ball would probably give everything away. So that's why they, they revealed it in this situation. We get the same flashback, you know, the whole situation of Eren talking with Zeke about how he felt, you know, like his dad killing all those, you know, like and all that stuff. And how Zeke says that, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, not, uh, you know, not being born in this world is the biggest blessing which is kind of messed up but true in a sense like not only in attack on titan um, in the real world as well in a lot of situation like you know like like being born is the, the like you know it's like a ticket for you to suffer that's just it like very rare like you know people actually live a sufferless life is that a word even i think so i don't know <laughs> very rare but most not most but every, all people whoever is born in the world suffers somehow some way or the other sometime in their life and it's true you know like the thing that zeke said but obviously that's not why you should just like you know like make it that yeah like no one's been born like that's wrong in in, in its own so and then at that moment Aaron was like okay fine i'll i'll work with you but obviously in his head he had some other plans so <laughs> zeke throws the ball and he doesn't he doesn't grab it <laughs> like i'm like <laughs> he should have you know like he should have grabbed it at that situation too uh, like you know like that that face that zeke made after that you know like when he he dropped the ball and okay let me see like <laughs> and then dropped the ball zeke is like flabbergasted staring at him like that he's like what the hell aaron like you know aren't you supposed to grab that ball in that situation we were having such a great brotherly talk and you know such 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 we were going to change the world and and he, he didn't drop the ball <laughs> that's how that's what his face was at that moment like <laughs> that was like one of the most funniest i don't know why the way zeke looked at aaron at that moment was just so funny but yeah, and I don't know if that actually made him suspicious or maybe he was suspicious of Eren from the beginning, but he fully did not trust Eren. And <clears throat> okay, and then uh, Eren goes to the path. He, he reaches the path. Uh, no, not path, the coordinate. Yeah. Um, and Zeke is there, shackles, you know, and he starts talking to Eren about all, like, you know, their plan and what this place is, this and that, how uh, Ymir, the founder Ymir, uh revived him i think yeah and this is the same scene that sasha saw you know uh, not sasha sorry um ymir um uh, our ymir you know not the founder ymir but our ymir she saw as well you know that that scene in one of the first i think the first or the second season um in the same scene so that was actually the coordinate so <clears throat> Yeah, he talks about everything. He talks about how you meet the founder, you know, brought him back, this and that, and how the shackles are actually something that shows how he cannot do anything because he's from the royal blood. You know, renouncing the war is something that is within their genes or something. So, yeah, he talks about it to Eren. And, like, again, here's another mistake that Eren makes here. Eren should have just went and used the power before talking to Zeke about and it and just, you know, revealing everything. And I, I don't, like, you know, like, I, I think Aaron probably did not realize that Zeke was already suspicious of him. So that's why he probably talked at that moment. If he did not talk about it properly, if he just, like, you know, just calmly went there and did the thing, I don't know what would have happened. Something probably would have changed. But who knows? Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, here Aaron talks about everything. Aaron uh, reveals his plan says that yeah like why would i even like you know support this euthanization plan i myself am born in this world so i cannot do something that will uh, you know stop everyone from being born in this world and one of the things that n has always said is that this world is cruel but beautiful 
you know that's like Aaron's one of the like you know most like you know like iconic catchphrases I think yeah and that's Aaron used to say that didn't he yeah yeah like this this world is cruel but it's beautiful so that's what we like that's that's basically what he means like I myself am born here I cannot do something and like Zeke is fully like you know negative while Aaron is kind of in like you know in, in the positive like, you know thing so he did all of this up all up until this time to trick Zeke into getting to this point but unfortunately Zeke was also playing him up until this time not playing him as per se he he was just testing him and he just stands up and the, 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 the shackles kind of drop off and Aaron is like what what's happening Zeke is like, yeah, I was just testing you. I, I wanted to listen to what you wanted, you know. And he says that, um, yeah, I, I know. Like, you, you, you also have been brainwashed by your dad. Um, now, you know what? I feel like Zeke never trusted him from the beginning. You know, like, like Zeke's, like, you know, the, the way he um, actually mistrusts everyone is actually being shown here. Like, he never trusted anyone from the beginning, neither his parents, no one, you know, the, because of the way he was, like, you know, brought up. The only person he probably trusted by the end of it was Xavier. And um, since, you know, like, he, that's why he, he, he knew that he, he probably thought that, yeah, like, this Aaron, you know, he's my brother, but he was still brought up by our dad, the dad that he hates. So he probably did not trust him from the beginning. That's what I think now. No, and he probably had this planned out from the beginning. He probably thought that yeah, I'll test him first, then I'll I'll decide. And that's what he did here. He he asked me to make those shackles, and being here for so much time, he uh you know like he look like, wait a minute. So is that does that mean that he's like in a, a state of half death and half alive? Is that what it is? Because you me uh, uh, Zeke was supposed to die at that moment, during that moment where he, you know, sacrificed himself, uh, the Levi scene. He was supposed to die there, but Ymir brought him back, you know, like kind of made him with sand and brought him back. And he did thus say here that I've been waiting here for like an eternity, waiting for you. So I think, I think probably Zeke is like in a state of half death and half alive. I think that's probably it, how this is going, because... Otherwise, it, it would make a lot of sense like, like that, you know. He says that I've been waiting here for you so long and he has been like, you know, in contact with me for so long that, you know, like he, he, he knows what to do now. He, he can, he's able to make that shackles. He's able to trick Aaron at that point. But yeah, he says that and he says that uh, our founder Ymir is also a slave, you know, to the royals. You know, what can I say? Like he's, he's slave to their ideals and he, he's going, she's going to listen to what the royals say. So I'm the royal here and I can like, you know, just order her to do this. And he stands up and he, I think he basically, I think he ordered uh, Ymir to put the shackles on Eren that, so that he cannot move at that moment. And then he says that, yeah, I'm going to, like, you know, save you this and that, you know, like, um, um, uh, like our, our father, you know, like brainwashed you, all that stuff he's saying. And like this this really shows how he distrusts mistrusts everyone he loves Aaron but he does not trust him that's basically it and he thinks that it was because of their dad Grisha that Aaron is like this now but yeah um so <clears throat> then he says when I'm, I'm going to save the world I'll be with you because their heads kind of head they kind of headbutt each other <laughs> and yeah the whole thing starts now I don't know whether the euthanization plan is going to be true now or maybe something else will happen we don't know but it seems like Zeke's plan is coming to fruition and uh, let's see what Aaron does after this who knows we'll see and I'm, I'm, I'm sure Aaron is probably fine he's going to probably come back I don't know his head did get cleaved off but before dying they came into contact with each other so who knows what will happen we'll see but yeah that was it that's the end um so yeah a lot of things a lot of things happened now to wait for the next week so that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to attack on titan the final season part two episode number three so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out but please no spoilers 
so yeah that's it so that was it that was this episode so thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another episode of attack on titan the final season part two until then goodbye and have a nice day